Okay, so like I said before, I've got my face cut out, okay? It's roughly the shape that I showed you on the whiteboard, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is, and you can even, if, I mean, I know I said not to, you know, draw on it, but it's, there's nothing wrong with that. But figure out where approximately the halfway point is, and you'll realize that it's a lot lower, okay, than what you think, all right? So I've made this little line here. That's, you know, pretty close to the middle, or at least I'm, I'm kind of guesstimating in that sense, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and smooth that over just so I have an idea, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by creating the eyes, all right? And what I'm doing here, and I'm doing this upside down for demonstration purposes. You can do it as it's, you know, with the chin pointed towards you, all right? But you'll notice that I'm just kind of lightly pressing, okay? I'm not pushing too hard. Just kind of smoothing and rounding, all right? And what I'm creating is the orbital socket or the eye socket of what will become our face, all right? So I'm just gonna keep kind of pressing so I get this little kind of indentation here. Um, you know, let me grab something really quick. Okay, so what we're looking at, okay, this is a former student. No, I'm just kidding, this is made of plastic, okay? But what we're doing is, is we're creating the orbital socket of the skull, all right? We need that bone structure underneath so that we can create a realistic human face. Now, obviously, the nose doesn't stick out nearly as far as what we wanna make it. Um, the teeth and the mouth, we don't have that soft tissue of the lips and, all, and the skin, but for the eyes, you can definitely see how that's gonna be created, okay? Same thing with the cheekbones here, kind of poking up. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and continue just kind of pressing in. I'm not pressing too hard, I'm not pressing too firm, just doing a little bit at a time, okay? And as you can see, those eyes start to kind of take on a realistic look to them, okay? So now as you get closer to that, all right, make sure that they're as about as equal as you can, okay? And therefore we're good, all right? So. Our scraps of clay that we have over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and roll out a ball of clay. Now we're gonna create the eyes first, all right? I'm gonna make that about half that size, all right? Now your face that you're gonna be making, if you use three sheets of newspaper, there's a good chance that this is not necessarily the same size as a real human face. Um, that might be a little bit bigger, it might be a little bit smaller, um, just kinda depends on how big you make it. Now, your eyeball are actually balls of, you know, fluid and tissue and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw, make one, and then I'm gonna cut it in half, okay? And then I'm just gonna kind of round it out because when I cut it, you can see that it kind of flattened it out. It's no longer a perfect round shape. It's kind of more of a acorn shape or you know something like that. So I'm gonna make that a little bit more round, okay, for both of those. And then I'm gonna go ahead and score, slip, and smooth each one of these little balls of clay right in the center of that eye socket that we created, okay? Press it in, all right? And you don't have to necessarily smooth it in. Um, we're gonna do something a little bit more with that a little bit later, okay? We're gonna go ahead and do that to both sides. Just like so. Now, because I use the same ball and I cut it in half, each one of the eyeballs should be about the same size, okay? Or at least, hopefully. Um, most everybody's eyeballs are about the same size. Some of them are all slightly different, but that's okay. We're all a little bit unique, okay? So you can see that, okay? I've just got those two little dots there, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some coils, okay? And really small coils at that, all right? So we're gonna take these really thin coils, okay? So we're talking about, oh, about half the thickness of a number two pencil, okay? So a little bit thinner than that even maybe, all right? And this is gonna become the eyelid. Now that's what might be kind of like going, what, what are you talking about, Mr. Beeman? I don't understand that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my coil and I'm gonna put it about a third of the way up and I'm gonna drape it over the top of my eyelid or my eyeball okay and just kind of lay it over the top of that all right then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side but this time when I place this part on the inside I'm gonna make it kind of that corner okay so that 
it then kind of makes that elliptical shape that becomes our eyelid, okay? And of course, we're gonna go ahead and do that to the other side, same thing, about a third of the way up. Now, if your mask is somebody that's sleepy, then obviously you're gonna to wanna to make this a little bit smaller. Um, if your mask is somebody that is, you know, surprised or scared, then obviously your eyeballs are gonna be wider open and so therefore you're gonna to need to change and adjust um, the eyelids and how they are fit into that, okay? Um, but I'm just kind of doing a little bit more of a generic style of generic de design um, for this. So you can kind of see those are starting to take form and take shape. Take your popsicle stick, okay? And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're just going to smooth that top half. Okay, you can see me kind of doing that there. We're gonna smooth that top half and leave that rounded part of our coil on the eyelid or the eyeball side. We're gonna do the same thing on the bottom, okay? So you can kind of see that I'm just dragging the clay from the bottom half of that little coil down so that it's nice and smooth, okay? Take a little wet finger, smooth in. We don't wanna see any kind of tool marks. Tool marks are gonna obviously say that this is something that was made, okay? We want this to look as realistic as possible, okay? So our faces do not have tool marks on them. They do not have canvas texture on them, okay? And you can kind of see how this is starting to develop and starting to um, get creative, okay? Now, I'm gonna just kind of tweak this a little bit, clean it up, smooth things out. Um, not having fingernails in this particular case is a very good thing uh, because you can smooth things a lot with your fingers, okay? And you can see how that eyelid's starting to go. Now, I'm not really all that thrilled with it, so I'm gonna kind of move it down a little bit. So that I got a little bit more roundness to it. Okay, so that gives me a little bit more open. But I'm gonna repeat that same thing on the other side, and I'll show you that in the next video. Actually, what I'm gonna show you guys, I'll show you how to create the nose and the eyebrows and that sort of stuff. This is getting a little bit long, all right?